Welcome back to Link's Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There. <laughs> Eight more minutes, zombie. Get off the floor. Everybody do the... Rook has the answer without the sirens! I demand I... Okay, I already said this! Uh, but no, because no, it is, it is. And I do like this feature that allows you to look at dialogue in case you're lost and there's, like, context yeah. clues to be found in something else. Not to mention, it also does uh, list all the heart, heart pieces and seashells you've already Thank found. fuck. Oh, and the map, too. Okay, that's very handy. Yeah, no, like, say whatever you will about this remake, but it does do everything in its power to make to pretty much add in all sorts of quality of life improvements that the originals couldn't. Oh, oh those two boys don't oh. seem to be out of their wits. What's up, dude? Oh! Hey, Sorry. buddy! It's serious! Yeah, really serious! You do that hype. But he's not on my list, is he? No, I mean, it's, it's free for all, but the... the village. Okay. Yeah, no. that's right! A whole gang of moblins! Moblins? Which yeah, house? the house, and then they did something at Bow Wow's house. Oh God. Oh. I love how the Isn't text box is literally shaking too. With, oh yeah, the but. I just realized it's all hopping about so, too. I mean, ah! That's it always might cute. be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Let us Maybe. leave these two rapple, fools rapple, rapple. for another time. <laughs> rapple, rapple. Oh no, oh, Mom. Look, Madam, Madam Meow Meow, what's your problem? What's up, CD? <gasps> It's terrible! My bow was dogged by moments! First, okay, slow down. First, can we be really positive that it's actually a dog? Please, slow down, <laughs> my poor bow! Sorry, I'm not really putting emphasis into that. I'm just, I'm not feeling too well right now. It's all fine. Uh, it's okay, no worries. People, don't worry. Uh, but, yeah, it's just well, a rough... Kind of, actually, yes, worry. Uh, I hope you feel better. Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. yeah, um, basically how the, basically how this game handles its handles its uh, mid you know mid content stuff before reaching the dungeons is that there's usually some sort of side objective you need to clear in order to actually open the open the pathway. In this case, we gotta go find Bow Wow, who's been kidnapped by moblins. And it's oop. and it is and it's a a nice thing to do. It's just they're just on your eyes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like I can't see, but um, it's like. It is both a nice thing to do, and we'll soon realize later that without Bow Wow, it is impossible for us to actually get to the next dungeon, period. Ha! Oh, well, now you can get this heart. And they said White Hylians can't jump. Oh my god. No, but dude, I mean, no. <laughs> well, to be fair, do they say that? It was the time It was the, It was was the. the time period this game came out, roughly. Tall, tall heights. Ooh, that's like one of the most. That's like one of the most overused. Not overused, but also, it's, it's one of the most. It's one of the most like utilized like Zelda musics. Also, I will say, when the fish can only for it is neither. That is. I don't get it either, folks. I think I get that a little bit. But anyway, uh, as we can tell by that moblin skull over there, this must be their super secret hideout. Yeah. Who's this suspicious-looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get ready. So oh yeah, we got ourselves a little mini dungeon, no, mini dungeon here. I mean, yeah, it's to it's mini in every sense of the word. It really won't last long at all. By the way, uh, I will say but yes, I am making it a goal that every single time we see the owl, it will be a different voice. Uh oh. The heck is that thing? You must be an assassin sent by Madam Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me. Is I who will get you? Oh, oh, geez, he's actually oh. really ticked off. Yeah, and he's also and he's also and he's also as dumb as bricks. Don't worry, his shovels are no match for our shield. <gasps> My ass! It's just shovels he's throwing. We can beat him. Boop. No, those are That's spears. A fucking spear! It's big and like a spade. Anyway, continue, James. Though well, that does make me wonder, what did these moblins? Oh do? shit! Why do these moblins want that bow wow so badly? Right. Hey, get back hey, here! Oh, get back! <laughs> just you just skewer the fairy like where do you think you're going? There's bow wow. Let's go check up on him. And hey, with that, we see bow wow. What a wow. fearsome bark, beast! Bark, snarf, growl, bark. So now bow wow will be tagging along with us for a little while. Uh, we took we could we could totally take her take him back to Madame Meow Meow, but. Uh, the game will have it so that you'll you'll be carrying carrying along for the ride until you you know the way to your next dungeon opens up. Also, okay. I imagine Bow Wow being like that uh one animated dog. Hold on. 
Get him, Bow Wow. <laughs> That's a fearsome looking animal you have there. Yes. Do not forget the next instrument is in Kapunga Swamp. I thought you were going to change his voice every time we got a new instrument. Nope, every single time I appear on screen. <laughs> Silence, you. Also, hello, you're not supposed to be in this game. What the? Oh, Dom also, we Dom I am mighty out here. That speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. I'm Dom Payne, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. Like Would you have some time to spare? Bow Wow's taking a huge liking at Dompe at the moment. Okay, not even going to lie. Your Dompe voice, I was like, what is he doing? Cat Icarus's love child with Markiplier? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what? I, I, oh yeah, one thing. I am giving him the voice you would expect of a man that's jaws dislocated in such a fashion. <laughs> he is fair. a very big underbite. Go ahead, I think Steve. I mentioned this to you guys before, but you know what the overworld theme, the, do you know what the vibe kind of reminds me of? Oh, this one? That's it. Uh, yeah. You know what it kind of reminds me of? What? What's that? The Toy Story soundtrack. I guess? I, I, I mean, it's the same vibe. I, I don't really know why. Uh, I don't I'm, uh, uh, you know what? Like I, I think like that. that violin does kind of have, like, it does kind of remind me of the same violin. It's the violin, that's, that's what it is. It, you know what I'm saying? It, it does kind of remind me a little bit of the violin in Woody's Roundup. Yeah, that, oh. that's what it is. Oh, yeah, Bow Wow can literally munch, munch on, on Moblins. Just go just, go about, for it. Just, about, just about anything. Dinner you know, like, really. time. Bang. And yes, I do still. Remember. Yes, I do still like that Siva Gunner rip with freaking. Uh, oh, yeah, from Woodplank Galaxy. Anyway. <clears throat> that also, is legit one of my favorite songs in can Galaxy. Can you find too. that for me when this recording's over, Logan? So, the, 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 the Galaxy Siva Gunner thing? Yeah. I should get him. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say it's probably because you're in his way. I... Oh yeah. By the way, ba another thing that Bow Wow can do while you still have him is that uh, if you stand on certain surfaces, he actually will leave a hint that you might want to do something. That uh, there's something buried under the soil. Do we have anything, to... Mr. Wright? Mm. Mr. Wright. <laughs> well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Uh-huh. That, and that voice does that voice does work for him. The only other voice I ever remembered him having was in freaking Smash Brothers where he goes, Nyaw, and he was sent a, and then sent a building up out of nowhere. But yeah, no, that but yeah, no. Mr. Right there is pretty much what you think it is. It's supposed to be a callback to the Sim City character or the same name. Just said it just spelled differently. Brink, brink. Brink. Yes, this is I. Hey, the indigestible flowers of Gobaba Swamp. Those flowers are Bow Wow's favorites. Why don't you take them for a walk there, click? <laughs> Will do, old man Alryra. <laughs> I keep, I keep thinking. Old man Almyra? I was, I keep thinking you're saying <laughs> Almyra or Elvira. I'm like, wait a minute. Thank it's what the network that. wants. Why bother to complain? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, by the way, uh, I do recall Ooh. in one particular episode of the Animaniacs reboot, uh, namely the one that involves that rapper character, he does make a slight callback to Almira. Yeah. Oh, by the way, okay. something I think you I think you might find kind of interesting about said rapper, oh. James. He's voiced by, um, and I say this because I know it's the only character of his he would recognize him by. He's voiced by the um, sad half of Ika Ika. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. The freaking uh, Jackpack or whatever his name is. Yep. Huh. Yeah, Jetpack. Jetpack. <laughs> okay. And I will also say that that unironic, unironically, I think that's one of my favorite moments out of the entire reboot when Yakko literally gives him one four with that rap. Yeah, it's like, and when I I love that whole like the the rap that Yakko does itself is great, but my favorite part is like at the end of it, like Jay Pay isn't even that upset about. It. He's like, oh respect, and they oh, fist bump. Also, I yeah, oh, fist bump, and he shakes the freaking. I forgot the name for also, it. But go ahead, Matt. Also, uh, I do know that uh, one of the people they have, I think in the same rapping episode or stuff like that, they have uh, Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Uh, huh. AKA freaking... Uh... Killmonger. No, not... No. He's not I thought this actor... No, no, uh, freaking Do uh, Donald Glover, a.k.a. Yes. AKA, he's not Killmonger, he's Aaron Davis. Ah. Killmonger ah. is Michael B. Jordan. They look, for some reason, I kept thinking they looked similar. Like, I think it's the mustache. 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second dungeon of the game, the Bottle of Grotto. Okay. This is pretty much where they make the, make some serious use out of out of the whole platform switching mechanic with those uh with those orange and blue crystals. And now, was this here what we're seeing happen here? Uh, was this was this part of the things that was like? Because I I know there is an entire dedicated no, this is color, color dungeon. dungeon. But but what but in the Game Boy Color version, did they actually make these red and blue? I think yeah. they did. Okay. I don't know how they how they got away with that with the, uh, the original. The game original make, they, maybe they were different shaded. No, yeah, different shadings maybe. and all that to show one was uh, up and the other was down. Yeah. Oh, hello, shy, shy guys. guys. Ah. And they act like the fucking rats from uh from Link Between. Oh. <laughs> Right. Yeah, and it leads to the past. You can't hit them from the front. You have to kill them from the back. They Hop. act like the rats. 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 I hate the rats. Anyway, I know. <laughs> Why well, I hate the rats, too. <laughs> Can you jump over that? Nope. Oh. As much as Link may have n newfound jumping powers, but it can only take him about a foot. Oh. oh. Careful there. There's almost a little fell. bit of a set range there. But, uh. It's yeah. one of those things that, unfortunately, it's, ah. it's just one of those things you gotta deal with. Anyway, I'm not gonna make you sit through all that again. So, I mean, so far from what I've seen, this they, they did a really nice job with how things looked. I guess, um, getting to, like, I guess, wow, we have a lot of keys, I realized. Uh, I guess eventually getting to, will we be showing off some of the unique bonus content that this remake uh, brought to the table? I do try to show off as much as I can, yes. Okay. Not all of it, though, mind you, because let's be real here. The one big, the one big thing that they added to the remake is kind of a time waste. It's fluff. Very I want to ask, just for the sake of possibilities, is it possible those two blocks you pushed? Is it possible to squish that guy between the two blocks? I don't think so. Don't think so. That would oh. be hilarious if he could. He would probably just get like you know clipped out or like quickly like like get you know pushed mm. right back out and continue. Also, I just realized the music. That is the uh, <laughs> Mario the. Uh, Mario. Do 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 do. Music. Oh, I don't. I don't think if you're talking about the under the underground theme, I don't think it's the exact same thing. No, but it's it has not. Similar, no, it's it has not. a similar beat. It has the do 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 do. Whoop. Oh yeah. Oh, they, they oh also... god, not you. I'm nah. a chuckster. Never mind. Oh what? Sorry. Well, he's checking bombs, all right. No, Basically, those bomb token enemies from A Link to the Past are returned. Now they're a mini boss. Okay. I was gonna mention something about the music, but I guess not. Oh, well, next time, well, next time the we music. get to it. Oh, actually, okay, I remember now. There's, they're high knocks. Yeah. Fuck high knocks, Especially. Yeah, they the never. Have. They're, they're okay. I will say, like, I, I don't mind them because at least they have a very clear weak point. It's the Lionels. I don't. Not like to mention, the yeah, I was gonna oh, say, I not to mention. Things. Oh boy. Not to mention, Hinoxes are at least, like, really easy to maneuver around because they're so hulkingly slow, uh, as opposed to a Lionel, which they're are, like, really fast. They're a bitch in Four Stars Adventures. I should ask you, have you actually... Because I, I will, I can proudly say that I, I have never... Not proudly, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I have actually... I've never... I have actually never legitimately killed a Lionel. I've always used Ancient Arrows. See, have you ever, like... Oh, boo buddies! Hey, boos. They even laugh like boos. What do you know? Lights. But yeah, no, they, they they do hate the lights, so put them on and then slash them. Oh, wait, what, what were, what you, were you asking, at? Logan? Have you ever actually legitimately fought a Lionel and killed it in Breath of the Wild? Oh, I have. I think once. I have at least three times. Donuts! I, d I did the whole uh, get on his back and start whacking him while you're on his back. Before I had to sell my old Switch, I was forced to sell my old Switch and all of that. Uh, legitimately, there was one specific line out I loved farming. Hmm. Now, then, yeah. before, before and we it, get and it was a silver line out, so you know. Okay. I I, I will say I am a line out hunter in that game, so. Okay. Continue, James. So, okay. yeah, the power bracelet has made its return, and among all the other things that this remake does for the better. You don't have to worry about attaching it like a weapon anymore. It is literally an add-on to your overall abilities. Just press the A button next to a jar, pick one up, and that's all you gotta worry about. Good. Oh my gosh. That removes about half the tedium that the original Link's Awakening and its DX counterpart had. You had to equip it in order to pick up things. Let's be fair, this game does remove a shit ton of tedium from One thing I hate is that if you didn't have if you didn't have the Hold power bracelet. If you didn't have the power bracelet equipped and you tried to lift something heavy, it would give you that whole, oh, oof, it's too heavy. 
Yeah. Oh, it's still done. I, I hated ceiling. that so much. They don't Finally, give you a microphone, Look at though. The... Oh, look at... Never mind. It was a Pole's voice, but we don't have a microphone, so I don't know what they would have expected us to do. Wait, wait, what? They're weak against bombs. Oh. Or just blunt objects in general. But wait, what about microphone again? In the original, uh, in the Famicom release for um, The Legend of Zelda, one one particular way you had to get rid of the pose was to uh, literally blow into the microphone because they hate sound. Huh. Oh, and uh, if you get the ocarina, you can also do that. Well, then there you go. I mean, granted, I guess when you stop and think about it, those big gears would be a big giveaway that they probably hate loud sounds. Yeah, I mean, oh, how would yeah. you feel if it... I was going to mention something about the music. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, it was also used in Oracle of Ages when you find out that Impa is possessed. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So uh, this room in particular has a particular has a uh, puzzle to it. You have to kill the enemies in a certain order. I hate oh, was this there like room. a? Was there like? And I and I believe you like you hear it from the owl statue or something. Yes. No, that wasn't correct. Oh yeah, so that's what you yeah, have to defeat the imprisoned pole's voice. That that's the skeletal salvos. Oh, I thought the I thought it was for some reason I remember being more like cryptic in the original where it was like, like you had to it, it like actually said things like oh kill the big ear then kill the dead one or something like that. Maybe I mean maybe, or maybe think possible. of something else. <clears throat> oh well, die. And with that, we've cleared the puzzle. I, hate I don't oh. think I think this is the only time they ever do it in the game actually. Yeah. Thank goodness. This is the only time, which is weird. I hate it. <laughs> eh, I mean, one one time's plenty in my book. Yay, nightmare key. <laughs> I could just I could just hear the enthusiasm from here. By the way, among other things, piranha plants. Oh jeez. Yep. Oh yeah, and I the music I first heard it when Ippo was possessed. So when I heard it in any cave in Link's Awakening, I was kind of thrown off. Like, huh, this is the music that plays when Impa's possessed. I want to <laughs> ask because like. We obviously see it here, and you know we have stuff like him appearing in um, Ocarina of Time and so on and so forth. Have we ever had an instance where we see Zelda enemies in the Mario game? Uh, um, not that I can immediately no, recall. I don't think so. Let me Google uh, the, it real quick. The only, yeah, uh, hey, I'm Googling it. The only thing I can remember is that in 3D World we had a Zelda, like... Level. Level, yeah, yeah, where you're on, you're on his sprite work yeah. and stuff. And that, uh, and that Link makes a cameo in the uh, Super Mario RPG. Right. Yeah. Well, a bunch of Nintendo characters make cameos in that. And by a bunch too. It is where he makes RPG in that. Know, let's see. There, let's see. There's a giant blue rupee in Mario Galaxy that provides 40 star bits. Um. Um, I do recall that uh, Mario 3D Land did have that over. That and over my <laughs> suffering! Well, yeah, we, we brought up the one from 3D Land. Right, right. there's that one. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh! <clears throat> I don't think it counts all the way, but uh, looking at this, um, uh, apparently in Mario Golf, uh, the scoreboard in Mario Golf will have a bunch of, like, you know how, like, you have the high score with names and stuff? Oh, yeah, no, they have a whole bunch of names, and Link is one of those names. And it'll be like, there's no one for Darunia, Deku Scrub, Goron Kid, Malin, Navi. Wow, that's yeah. a lot, that's a, I, that's a lot of Zelda, Zelda names I would never expected in Mario Golf. They like their golf. Uh, and, um... Why couldn't they make them play... You know, that still makes me think back on that one rumor that apparently Link would have been a playable character in uh, Mario Tennis Aces. I wish oh, this doesn't that. look bad at all. It's a jar. Never mind. A clown. <laughs> I'm your bad guy this time. <laughs> I love how it's just called Genie. But it's because a clown. it is a Genie in a bottle. And this guy kind of sucks. Oh, and actually, I remember nothing I was, I was talking about earlier um, to you, uh, Matt, when you were as the guy who was just, oh, shit, and just died immediately, that uh, that that Moblin boss guy you yeah. played, Matt. Yeah. I think you, the thing that Hype shared earlier today where they had, I don't know. Oh, oh I can't move, but I'm still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Pick him up and throw it. I love the sound it makes when it's stuck. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. It's a really uh, visceral. It's a visceral ow! sound when you get stunned. So yeah, we just got strap. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. So yeah, uh, I don't know. If, I don't know. Hype. Was it the actual Dracula voice actor, or just a really good sound alike? Uh, for what? The, that thing you showed earlier, where they just him like, what if Simon Belmont finally shows up oh, yeah, just, and he just fuck. sees him as just fuck. fuck. 
I'm pretty sure that's just some random guy. Because he did a really good sound like just. Anyway, what were you I, I've been hearing all. The no, just that. That's just that. That's just what you use the villain going shit. Like that's what just remind me of just what if a villain was just like. Fuck. The camera's here every time. Fuck! I broke my glass. Speaking and of breaking glasses. Hey. Ah, you you broke my bottle. Why you you make me hopping mad. Which is why he's not doing any hopping. I remember I first took that literally when he said hopping mad. I like this boss theme, by the way. It's a pretty good boss theme, but yeah, no. Now this guy's gonna start, you know, doing the whole twisty turny shit, and then he's gonna throw some fireballs at you. This, those fireballs are actually. He's pretty, you know, precise with those fireballs, and that's kind of why I don't like this boss all that much. Yeah. But otherwise, he's really not that much. He's really not that bad. Okay. Just don't, just don't be, just don't be too cocky. They're like homing fireballs. Uh, it, uh, it? Yep. They send oh. you send right to home. But yeah, no, just I've been hearing all sorts of cool sound alikes between that Dracula one and between that uh, really cool Spider Man animation. Have you seen that yet, Matt? No, I haven't. It's the one that Jordan shared that's like, this would probably would have happened at the end of Homecoming, you know, after Aunt May saw that he was Spider Man. And they have this whole confrontation, and the actor they got for Peter Parker in that is a really strikingly good sound alike for Tom Holland. Also, wow, looking back on this footage, I forgot how many that this guy took two minutes, so many hits. He's a boss, and the power done. of the sun is yeah. upon my head. Oh, but and then that one this of the is just... going to hurt. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? The I would have laughed if you died like, yeah, what right if after that. You? Jeez. Oh, that would have been terrible. <laughs> Also, also on a quick note, I do like the little th little jingle that plays after you beat a boss. Yeah, me too. That's what. That's why I said I wanted the soundtrack. It's very triumphant. And with that said, we cut the magic conch. The co I was about to say the conch. <laughs> yes, the conch. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not doing that entirely. Oh uh, yeah, little woo, woo or whatever. Now, if you excuse me. Oh wow, this thing is makes a really good makes a really good um phone. Yeah. What if you actually? I don't know if I would. I, the sound is great, but honestly, I don't even know if I would have like laughed if it was like, "Look, do you, oh, that's you, hey." Prairie, prairie, the prairie is waiting. That is an intimidating windfish. And by prairie, he needs a prairie dog. And by oh. prairie dog, I mean our little doggo. <laughs> oh, I forgot we still had that thing. Yeah, but but if it, but it was like, what if you just play the conscious? <gasps> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, hell, a magic conch! We shall return to the village and re we will return as kings. Yep, and of course we got, of course we got to take old Bow Wow home, but uh, that'll have to happen. That'll have to wait till next part. So uh, stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty. See Bye. ya.